right, what's going on guys? Jerry McMillan here talking to you about four different baits that I use in heavy cover situations that I find all over the country. I grew up in Florida. Obviously the habitat here is immense. I mean, we got tons of vegetation. Um, every lake is a little bit different on what kind of vegetation, but we're always around heavy cover. These are four baits that I use pretty much everywhere I go uh, when I'm breaking down some heavy cover situations. First off is a swim jig. I like a swim jig because I can cover a lot of water with it. You know, if you get around some, some fish, you can, you can usually get a bite on a swim jig pretty quick. It's something that you can work at the top of the water column, at the bottom of the water column. You can fish it through thick stuff. You can fish it through thin stuff. You can present it in any kind of forage opportunities. Like, you know, you can change the color and, and match the hatch to anything. It's just a real versatile bait. That's something that I break down break down the lake first with. And then uh, once I find some fish in the, in the grass or in the heavy cover that I'm fishing, another bait that's really key and heavy covered for me is a popping perch. This is a bait that I can fish slower all around thick cover. Um, I can throw it right up to the very edges of the canes. I can throw it right up against mats. I can throw it into the topped out hydrilla and it doesn't get hung up and I can I can fish it real effective. And uh, if they're real aggressive, they'll come up and eat this bait. And a lot of times it gets some of the biggest fish in the lake to bite. But if they don't want to come up on a top water in the thick cover, um, my next go-to is a Strike King Ocho worm. This is a six inch black and blue, with, you know, Texas rigged. And this is a bait that I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish extremely, extremely slow on the bottom. Somewhere on around isolated thick cover where I think there's one at, I'm gonna let this bait soak. I'm gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count to 15 or 20 and let, let it just sit. And it, it, does, its, it does its best just sitting and being real still and, and then just moving it real slow into the bed seems to be a, just a, a really good way if they're not active at all but you can still get some really big bites doing this technique. Another way that I catch them around thick and heavy cover especially on sunny days something that we don't have today but but uh, and I'd love to do it and it would be right here and the stuff behind me is the is the flipping mats with them with a striking rodent ounce and a half striking tungsten weight I mean, this thing slides through heavy cover awesome. I mean, it's got, I got a 4.0 hook in there, fits the bait real well, and I'm able to get in and out of the cover quickly and catch some of those biggest fish that are hiding up underneath the thick mats, and from, hiding from the sun or hiding from the cold, whichever. They get under it majority of the time when it's hot, cold, sunny. I mean, it's just a great way to catch some of the biggest fish, and, and it slides in and out of the mounts really, really well. There's plenty of different ways to break down heavy cover. These are just four of my favorite ways that I try to break down a heavy cover situation whenever I find it on a lake. Uh, hopefully these tips will help you somewhere down the line.